Welcome to Martin's Institute of Teaching. So today we're going to be working on the second part of this um, topic. We're working with differential equations, second order linear equations. And here we're just going to try to find the general solution of the differential equation. So here I wrote down four equations and we're just going to try to figure these all out. So let's jump right on to number five. Okay, so here we got uh, y to the se uh, let's see y to the second derivative plus five y to the first derivative is equal to zero. So whenever we're doing these, the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and put this into the characteristic equation form. So y to the second that would be r squared plus five r is equal to zero. So for this one. Uh, we want to factor it out, but uh, I mean, this is really, it's a lot easier just to pull out an r, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to say r, r plus 5 is equal to 0. So in this case, r is going to be equal, well, this r right here is going to be equal to 0. Actually, why don't I actually work that out? And so here, this r, that's going to be equal to 0, and this r, it's r plus 5, and we want that to be equal to 0, so this r is just going to be equal to r is equal to negative 5. And then writing out this equation, uh, you might look at it and be like, oh, well, that's a 0. That's kind of weird. Is it? I'll show you how to write it. It's just y to the t. It's not bad at all, actually. Is equal to c1. This would be e to the 0 power times t. Oh, my gosh. That's really sloppy. Sorry. So 0 times t plus c2 e to the negative 5t. And this e to the 0, that's just going to become a 1. So the final, the general solution is just going to be c1 plus c2 e to the negative 5t. And so that's the solution to, or that's the general solution to this equation. Let's go on to number 6. So here we got uh, 4y to the second derivative minus 9y. So here we're going to put this into that characteristic form, which is going to be 4r squared minus, and this y, since it doesn't have, it's not, you're not taking the derivative of it at all, it's just, um, it's just going to be a 0. So this would be 9r to the 0 power, so that 0 just turns that r into a 1, so that would just go away. It turned into a 1, but 9 times 1 is just 9, so that's why we don't write that r right there. So now you got 4r squared minus 9 is equal to 0. This one we're going to have to, um, well, there's not really a very good way to do it. So we'll just do 4r squared is equal to 9. Divide both sides by 4. You're going to get r squared is equal to 9 divided by 4. Now we need to get rid of this square root. So that's going to be equal to r. r is equal to... r is equal to the square root of 9 over 4, which is equal to plus or minus 3 over 2. The reason it's plus or minus is because if you have, let's say, in order to get this back into to 9 over 4, you'd have to square both sides. So if I squared negative 3 over 2, I would just get 9 over 4 because that square would cancel out. If this is a positive, well, you would still get 9 over 4. That's why it's plus or minus, because it could be either one. So now let's go ahead. Okay, so now let's go ahead and write out this solution. We're going to get y of t is equal to c1 e to the 3 halves t plus c2 e to the negative 3 halves t. So that's your general solution for this equation right here, for this differential equation. Let's go on to the next one. Now we have number 7. So this is... Let's jump down. Oops. So we have y to the second derivative minus 9 to the first derivative plus 9y is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and put this into the characteristic form, and we're going to get r squared minus 9r plus plus 9 is 
going to be equal to zero. So here it's a bit of a pain to factor this out, so we're just going to go ahead and pop it straight into the quadratic equation. So we're going to get r is equal to minus, and this is going to be a, that's b, and that would be c. So let's drop this down just a little bit. Yeah, I want this. Okay, so now we're going to put this into the quadratic equation, so we're going to get negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, all square rooted, over 2, oh that's super sloppy, over 2a. So r is going to be equal to negative b, so it's negative, and then b is equal to negative 9, so we're going to put a negative 9 here, plus or minus b squared, and so we're going to do negative 9 squared minus 4 times a, a is equal to just 1, so times 1 times c, c is equal to 9, this is all square rooted, all over 2a, and 2, and a is 1, so we get this, uh, so it's going to turn out to be 9, plus or minus 81, minus 36 over 2. This is square rooted. So let's, uh, let's continue up here. So now, uh, working this out, 81 minus 36 will be 45, so we're going to say r is equal to 9 plus or minus uh, square root of 45 all over 2. Uh, 45, that's just 9 times 5, so this is going to be equal to r is equal to 9 plus or minus, uh, let's see, 9 times 5, so that would be 3 square root of 5. Because uh, 9 times 5 and the 3 gets brought out. That's where you get the 3 right there. Okay, this is all over 2. And this isn't going to really get any neater, so we'll just leave it in this form. We'll uh, just finish off the, the solution. So we're going to say the general solution, y of t, is equal to c1 e to the... And you're going to get all this, so it's going to be uh, 9 plus... 3 square root of 5, all divided by 2 times t, and the next one's going to be plus c2 e to the negative 9, uh, uh, plus the square root, wait, no, not right there, it goes on the inside. Gosh, you know, I need more space to write this. Let's just move over a little bit. Okay, so that should give me enough space. Um, this is going to be plus c2 e to the 9 minus 3 square root of 5 all over 2 and this is going to be uh, times t so yeah so let's see let's, c1 is e c1 times e to the 9 plus 3 fifths divided by 2 times t and plus c2, e to the 9 minus 3 square root of 5 divided by 2 times t. So that is the general solution for this equation. Pretty sloppy, but that, there you go. Or not neat, at least. So now let's do this next one. Again, this is another one of those ones that will pop into the quadratic equation. So we have, uh, let's see, y... Uh, to the second derivative minus 2y to the first derivative minus 2y is equal to 0. So putting it into the characteristic form, we're going to get r squared minus 2r minus 2 is equal to 0. Uh, putting this also into that same equation, we're going to get r is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, all square rooted, all divided by 2. So this is going to be a, this will be b, and that will be c. So b is going to be equal to negative negative 2 uh, plus or minus negative 2 
squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 2. All square rooted. All divided by 2. So let's see. We're going to get r is equal to 2 plus or minus. Now here we're going to have 4 minus 8. So that's going to be the square root of 12 all over 2. So the square root of 12, that's going to be 4 times 3 square rooted. So it's going to be this. Um, that's going to be equal to uh, let's see, 4 times 3. That's going to be equal to 2 square root of 3. So r is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus 2 to the square root of 3 over 2. The 2s are all going to cancel. So r is going to be 1 plus or minus square root of 3. And so we're going to write the general solution. Let me scroll down a little bit more. We're going to say the general solution is equal to c1 times e to the 1 plus square root of 3 times t plus c2 e to the 1 minus square root of 3 all times t. And this is the general solution to this differential equation. Okay, so in the next video, actually, we're going to be working with initial value problems. So we're actually going to be solving for C1 and C2 in the next problems. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you out. And if it did, great. Uh, don't forget to click like if you liked it and subscribe. So good luck in your classes, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.